Hi, my name is Margaret Sass. I'm the Assistant Director of Service Learning here at Purdue University. And this quick workshop is going to be a discussion about how to implement service learning into a study abroad program or course. Now, we will be going over a couple of slides and I will bring it up into a closer picture so you can see a little more about what I'll be talking about. So here we go. What is service learning all about? Well, there's four basic categories listed right here. First of the part is the engagement aspect. Does a service component meet a public good? And discuss this a little bit more in detail, um, making sure that the community is even aware that you're going to be involved or your course is going to be involved. Number two is all about reflection, which is extremely important. And you need to reflect about your experience Reciprocity is something that should also be discussed um, also as the teacher and the learner. And pu public dissemination, making sure that there is a public dialogue that's actually occurring. And the reference is below for more information. Second is planning. Planning is very, very important because you must be sure that you are organized before you even go out into the community or travel abroad. So think about what you want to prepare students for be before they actually go out into the, into the world, into the assignment and the trip. Think about where you want to go and do, and think about specific details. A lot of this can be very specific, um, all the way to pre-planning and items that they may need for the trip, all the way to certain activities that you want them to do before they go on a trip, during their trip, and after their trip. This is a quick little teamwork assignment that I suggest that you do with your students before they actually go to the country for their trip. And you can pause this workshop or on this slide if you want to continue with this process or make a copy of it. So a well-designed international service learning course has three components to it a mandatory pre-departure course. Usually this involves a couple of classes preparing the student for their trip abroad. And then you actually have some type of assignments and discussions and reflections while you're actually at the, the country that you're visiting. And then a re-entry module, which means they come together and have a discussion after they return from their trip. Pre-entry. So you have cultural and culture. There's two different types of concept. There is an excellent YouTube video that you can look into to give you kind of general idea. And these are some ideas of what you can do and thoughts that you can think about before you even enter the country. And these would be assignments that would probably collaborate or occur in the classroom previous to departure. During the trip, very, very important, make sure that there is some type of reflection occurring. If it's not written, then it should be in discussion. And there's great places to discuss, including bus rides, the flight, the hotel, in case that while you're in the country that is just too overwhelmingly busy. And then you have the service learning event. If you're allowed to, I would recommend videotaping some of the activities, possibly interviewing the community people, people that you're being integrated with and the local population. So there's different ways to I reflect and I say I reflect because you're using the internet as your source. You have blogging, which is writing intensive, vlogging, which is a video of yourself reflecting. A podcast is where you tape your voice and a pen pal program, which is an idea about actually creating some relationships before you go or creating them while you're there and talking to them when you return. Post-entry, re-entry. This is very important. The actual class should not end at the site of, of the country when you're leaving it on an airplane. You should come together and have a discussion about what you learned, thoughts, concerns, issues, great experiences, highlights, etc. Lastly, you should really consider about assessing the whole project in the first place in the class. There's all different types of ways that you can assess. It's a thought about what are the learning outcomes of such an activity so students are really having a major takeaway from the experience and learning something from it. 
So I appreciate you joining me and learning a little bit more about international service learning, and I hope you have the ability to implement it in your next study abroad class. Thanks. Have a great day.